Alright, what is happening guys? Staff Sergeant Massey here, aka Our Chisel on the internet. Right now, we are still in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. We're in this obstacle course just to build morale for these trainees. These are soon to be soldiers, but they gotta prove it by working together, teamwork. We are a fit to win obstacle course. It's pretty exciting. I went through one iteration already, got good footage. And this is for all you guys who are wondering how it is like to be in basic training. Let's go! In Army basic training, you will go through a lot of obstacle courses. A few of the most challenging and unforgettable events are the team development and fit to win obstacle courses. The purpose of these courses is to promote teamwork and trust towards fellow trainees. These obstacle courses will consist a series of challenging physical obstacles an individual or team must navigate, usually while being timed. Obstacle courses can include running, climbing, jumping, crawling, and balancing elements with the aim of testing speed, endurance, and agility. Sometimes, a course will also involve a mental test. How was it? It's hard. It was hard. Hi. Yeah? Well, we got it in. Yeah, we're All right. What do you guys think helped out, you know, to make it more successful? We did work together, I think. Yeah, I think the teamwork was best. I, I talked to some people that did that. I've not talked to you since I got okay. it. Yeah, so. I never heard him talk. Sounds good. That really helped. What was the hardest part? Well, the wall, I think everything I think is hard. It's just, as long as you can get the last person motivated, we'll get it going. Do you guys feel like you're more pumped up now? Yeah, definitely. Sure, yeah. Definitely, we're ready for the next one now. Okay, what's the best lesson that you got out of here? Teamwork. Teamwork to make your dream work. work. That's it. Uh, can you actually like group together and yell your motto, okay? Right. One, two, as loud as you can. One, two, three. Before any event starts, the drill sergeants will be explaining how to navigate and demonstrate each obstacle. We'll block your face so that we don't accidentally get any cuts or anything on your face from not protecting your face, yes? Yes, yes sir, Sergeant! As you make your way through the obstacle, you're basically going to shimmy shape. That's what I call it. You can use your elbows. They will assist you and pull you the remaining way out. At which time they'll tell you, go ahead and get up. Once the trainees are briefed, they will then be separated into different groups and have the chance to come up with a plan to attack the obstacle course. Heavier people are, if we had lighter people go first or the shorter people, it's going to be a lot harder for them to pull each other, like from the barbed wire and whatnot, underneath. So I'd say if we do the taller or the bigger people first, then it'll be a lot easier to pull the short During this moment, some trainees will step up and emerge as leaders. And on the other hand, some will clash and not agree with the plan. At the end of the day, when we finish one obstacle hey, course, right we yeah. cannot move until the whole team is done. Right? Mm -hmm. So, if one fast person, uh, say Alan, Alan's real fast, if he starts, then somebody that's not as fast can go right after him, yeah. and somebody else that's as fast, that's as, you know, equally fast can go. So if we stagger it like that, we're keeping the pace like okay. that. Yes, While going through the obstacle course, some will fail or not be effective in certain events. This is that time when you should be picking up your battle buddies. No soldier should be left behind. The hardest thing to push is up today, all right? Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah, buddy. Let's go. And then tomorrow we're going to push up even harder. Let's go. There's a lot over there. Come on. Oh. Pick him up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here you go, Cut. You good? Come on. Go, go, go. Let him cut yourself. Let's go, guys. It's going to help cut. Yeah. Hold it. You must never quit or leave a fallen comrade. In the end, only one group will win, and it's okay. Because what really matters is that every trainee understands the value of teamwork. And every single one will be living by the Army values.